Welcome to an overview of the BSEP site program funds. BUSD has a local property tax called the Berkeley Schools Excellence Program, or BSEP for short, which provides over 20% of the district's annual budget. Of the available revenues from this tax, 10.25% are allocated annually for school site programs. The BSEP measure language dictates that school site councils will be the local body which determines the use of the site program funds at each school. What we refer to broadly as BSEP site funds have been a funded priority since the inception of the BSEP measure in 1986. At various times called enrichment funding, enrichment programs, discretionary funds, and most recently site program funds, this resource has always been allocated to BUSD sites and programs on a per pupil basis and relies on the existing school site committees, which are already mandated by California Ed Code, to direct the funding. The site program fund per pupil allocation is calculated for each coming school year based on the expected tax revenue and the overall number of students in the district. A school's current year enrollment is used to calculate its site fund allocation for the coming school year. Per pupil allocations increase in years where the overall available revenues from BSEP increase or at times when the overall number of students decreases. All told, BSEP site funds are allocated to 18 schools and programs across the district. These include an early childhood education program, 11 elementary schools, three middle schools, Berkeley High, Berkeley Technology Academy, and independent study. Allocations to the preschool, independent study, and Berkeley Technology Academy programs are based on an agreed upon average number of students, as those programs are faced with fluctuating enrollment throughout the school year, and the preschool enrolls both full-time and part-time students across its three locations. This is the basic annual cycle that determines how BSEP site program funds are spent. Principals receive a site fund allocation for the coming school year and lead the SSCs in producing site plans and budgets each spring for the following academic year. At the start of the new fiscal year, after July 1st, budget accounts are built and implemented according to the approved site plans to be ready for use when the new school year begins in the fall. Adjustments are made throughout the year as actual costs may come in higher or lower than was estimated the previous spring. SSCs may also choose to amend their plans and budgets if their site's needs change over the course of the year. This may happen if a position or contract is unable to be filled or if new emergent needs are identified over the course of the school year. The use of the BSEP site funds is monitored by district staff throughout the year and principals and SSCs also track any unusual variances in implementing their planned budget. When BSEP site funds are not fully spent, any unused funds will be available for sites to use in the following year. It is common for sites to accrue this BSEP carryover because responsible budgeting includes maintaining reserves to cover any unexpected increases in expenses, particularly with staffing costs. As a result, SSCs also typically include plans to spend available BSEP carryover funds in their site plans each year. The intent of the site program funds is to allow site-based direction of which needs require resources to deliver effective and equitable opportunities for student engagement, enrichment, and achievement. BSEP site fund spending typically falls into three main categories, staffing, contracted services, and materials and supplies. Here is a breakdown of the spending of site funds over the past seven years. Staffing has always represented the greatest investment made by sites and staffing costs consistently increase over time, a trend which we can only expect to continue. It's important to note that BSEP site funds are not the only funds available for materials and supplies, so this graph does not indicate an overall reduction in available supplies at our schools. The indirect costs category represents contributions toward district-wide overhead costs. This is determined using a percentage set each year by the California Department of Education and applied to all actual spending for all qualified budgets. Because the actual costs are only known after the close of each fiscal year, a budget specifically for indirect costs is kept separately from the rest of the site fund budgets, and that account pays the indirect costs annually. When we report on overall spending from the site fund resource, we also report this category for full transparency, even though it is not paid from any individual school's allocation of site funds. Broad trends exist in how BSEP site funds are spent, and they fluctuate over multi-year arcs. 
For the most recent plans available, here are some current common threads. 13 out of 18 sites use carryover BSEP site funds to budget for materials and supplies purchases. 14 out of 18 sites use BSEP site funds to pay for hourly staff work. 14 out of 18 sites also use BSEP site funds to pay for counseling, behavioral, or mental health support. 17 out of 18 sites use BSEP site funds to pay for staff salaries. However, within these broader trends, there can be huge variety. For example, just looking at the salaried pay planned for 2021-22 school year from the BSEP site funds, we see the following roles. Support and intervention in math, literacy and reading, English language development and two-way immersion support, and response to intervention. Enrichment instruction and in dance, art, PE, cooking and gardening, science and STEM sections. Administrative and other positions such as vice principals, counselors, classroom teachers, student welfare and attendance specialists, a parent resource center specialist, bilingual homeschool liaison and instructional media technician. Teachers on special assignment providing support for general academics and intervention, student athletes, the Student Learning Center at Berkeley High and the BIHS program. It should be noted that many different district-wide resources provide staffing at schools for most of these purposes, but schools still choose to supplement their, di their district provided staffing using their site funds to go above and beyond what is already being provided through the district's other budgets. With 18 sites, what is funded at each school depends on the needs of the school, the age of its students, their demographics, the size of the school, and more. Further, site plans are updated each year and are often amended over the course of a school year. The BSEP office produces a variety of materials documenting the site plans and implementation of the BSEP site funds. Visiting the BSEP page listed above and selecting the link for annual plans and archives will allow you to view the full annual reports that contain detailed information on actual site fund spending each year. Additionally, if you visit the committee training webpage listed on this slide and scroll down to the tools and reference materials section, you will find multi-year comparatives, uh, comparative documents for each school in BUSD, which track BSEP site fund spending over several years. Lastly, for questions about any of our many BSEP programs, you can always email bsep at berkeley.net. Thank you for watching.